everyone this is Tanya here with memory lane keepsakes and welcome back to my channel I am so thankful that you guys are here today thank you for clicking on this video today's video is the Anna Elizabeth Diamond spells 2023 collaboration which is hosted by Poet of Spice myself as well as a lot of other creators have gotten together to create this collab and this collaboration would be um, coming out every second Friday of the month this happens to be my April project share. The names of all the creators will be in the description box for you guys to check out their videos and see what they created in hopes that you are inspired by everything that you see. So I'm loving what I made this month. This month happens to be a huge birthday month for my family. Um, I want to give a huge shout out. So I'm calling this video birthday shout out for this month for this project share. And I catered mine around birthday cards for this month. And so I did make those and I'm going to show the materials that I made. And before I get into all of that, I want to first welcome you here to my channel and thank you all so much for joining me. If this is your first time, I hope you choose to stick around by subscribing by the end of this video if you enjoy the content. Also, if you are returning, I want to thank you so much for your continued YouTube support. And I also want to give a huge shout out to my daughter, Jasmine, happy birthday. To my mother, happy birthday to you. And my cousin, happy birthday. They are April birthdays. So that's why I'm calling this month birthday shout out um, for this project share. So let me share the materials that I have um, used to create my projects. So this is the first one here. This happens to be the Elizabeth Craft Design die set. These are the words one, which is called celebration. I use these and these are really great because you get so many different words that you can use to create with. And I like the fact that you can layer these as well. Um, so one of the tips that I would give you when you're using these words, a good thing if you want to use different colors would be to cut this out in white. If you want to make this thicker, use cereal boxes to give you that extra thickness and then layer it with a white color and change the color up if you choose to do that. Or you can just cut it out in the paper choice that you want to use for that particular color. So this is one of the sets that I use here that I so love. I've used this many times before. And the next one that I used was this one here, which is one of my um, older ones, but new ones at the same time because I've never used it before. Um, this happens to be a goodie but oldie from the Spellbinders um, collection, um, which was a large die of the month from September 2020. And I bought this one on clearance and I was so happy to get this one. This one was really, really nice. Um, so I've been wanting to play with this one. This was the perfect time to do so since this collaboration is based around using Anna Griffin, Elizabeth Craft Design, Diamond Press, Spellbinders. So those are the items and that's the reason why this collab is called what it's called. And Jamie created this collaboration. And so I'm glad to be a part of it. And so this is the other set that I use. So I pulled out these two items here. I also put out some papers um, that was already in my stash and some of them that I just recently added to my stash. One of them that happens to be this confetti paper, which is a hot buy paper collection. I use this one quite a lot when I'm using birthday, um, when I'm making birthday cards or anything birthday related. This is one I like to keep coming back to. Um, so you will see that one a lot in this video, um, in most of my videos. And then another one that I used was this one right here, which happens to be one of my new clearance items from Hobby Lobby, which happens to be the watercolor patterns. I think this is absolutely gorgeous. And that rainbow is just absolutely funny. I, I just love um, the different colors, how they just pop. Just really, really beautiful. Um, so I just love the way the colors pop. And so that's why I chose to use this one because it went really with my design. And... I also pulled this one right here out, which happens to be the Craft Blanc. Um, this one right here is a unique one as well. So I thought this one worked really well for what I want to use it for. Um, so those are the different paper pads that I just pulled out to create with. And I made three cards and I'm going to show you the first one here. And it took some time to use the Spellbinders um, Have Your Cake. That particular die set 
um, you had a lot of pieces to cut out and I did layer a lot of those pieces and this is what the first one looks like right here so I went with the strawberry cake and I didn't add any fruit although this die set does have a lot of fruit options and I did not use any of the fruit options so you can see down there where all the fruit is um, listed down there they have blueberries strawberries orange slices and it even has um, it also says happy birthday to you so you can use that as well or make a wish I didn't use that disco round I just went ahead and stuck with the um, sentiment that says you can have your cake and eat it too and that's what I use for this particular card here I wanted the confetti to be at the top that was already um, made in the paper I did cut out that happy birthday at the bottom and I layered that but I kept it real simple but I really like the way this looks and not adding too much to it but you can definitely add that fruit to give it another look or a different sentiment inside the layers of the cake to add a little sparkle as you can see I added a sparkle here to the icing and I didn't put any in the center of the layers and I did it on the birthday I used my spent in the war for all three cards um, so this is what I use and I just have my um, dedicated brush um, paintbrush there to add that shimmer on and that's how this card right here was made I did prop up the candle here for this particular card um, to have it lift up just a little bit there to have it look layered um, so and in the inside I layered it with the same design paper that I use for the front and that's how this card right here was created so that's my first one there the next card I made I went more of a rainbow theme and this is the card right here that I made and you can see similar but yet different so you can see different ways you can change up the cake and I just love that saying you can have your cake and eat it too and again I did add that shimmer again to the icing but this time I chose to cut out the happy birthday in the silver foil and I just thought that was really really so just just perfect for this card because I wanted to also highlight this candle because I did some silver foiling on that as well and the pops of color behind it looks like it's balloons or just confetti been thrown up in the air I thought I added the perfect touch this happens to be my favorite one out of the three but I just really like the way that turned out as well and in the inside I did the same thing by adding that border that's the same design that's on the front for my next card I went more of a masculine card but this also can go um, be feminine as well if you choose to this one right here says again you can have your cake and eat it too and this one is my chocolate cake with this chocolate cake I added some light frosting it also reminds me of the German chocolate cakes and then I also added some shimmer to the bottom you can see how that just pops at the bottom there I love the way that looks um, and you can see how I use that beautiful paper that craft paper there inside of this card I've also added that same paper as a border inside of the inside of the card and left all three of them blank so a personalized message can be written and but yes these are all three of my cards for the Anna Elizabeth Diamond Spells 2023 collaboration for the month of April so yes let me know down in the comments which card is your favorite and I want to thank you guys so much for taking our time to watch. This is Tanya here with Memory Lane Keepsakes. Continue to be blessed as always and happy crafting. And don't forget to check out the description box to see all the other creators. Have a wonderful day and I will be back in the month of May on the second Friday. So that way you guys can see my next project. Bye bye. And also before I go, you can use that hashtag as well. And that will be in the description box if you would like to play along. Have a good one. Bye bye.